What's up, chat? How we doing? Yesterday, we were faced with an unbeatable opponent. And no, I don't mean Sister Friday or uh, Melina or Gale or Orphan of Koss. I mean Sid. Sid. The legendary final fantasy character, Sid. Who in this game is some kind of weird, you know, demigod kind of thing. You know, it's... who cares? <laughs> Let's uh, warm up here. Look at that, DBZ might get first. The often sought after first, the very hard to obtain because you never know exactly when I'm gonna go live between 7.30 and 8. Congrats on that. That's a big accomplishment. Big victory. It's a big one. stars. I thought I told this game I was a five-star man. I'm a five-star man. a little try disaster, huh, buddy? No spoils? I got five stars. You gotta sneak up on him, right? Thank you. You gotta get that preemptive strike. Steel Claw. That's my favorite kind of claw. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, Serdek. Uh, I do have a storm warning. It's supposed to be hitting in about an hour. I don't think it's supposed to be like tornadoes or anything, just a heavy thunderstorm. So I wouldn't say that I'm worried exactly. They are coming. You 
hope I'm doing great. Well, that's very kind of you, Goofy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. No tornado. We don't get tornadoes here in Mini. Uh, I did live in Iowa for years. So I experienced plenty of tornadoes while I was there. Scary stuff. Ravenna, thank you. I hope you enjoy the coverage. Obviously, we got to do a rapid fire with Bruce Campbell for that one, so that's pretty pretty sweet. That'll be up later this week. We can win if we stay focused. Thanks. Hey, Iru, what's up? I mean, Bruce really leaned, you know, having been to, like, a ton of horror conventions and stuff in my day, uh, Bruce is definitely, like, you know, a character um, that has really leaned into that role of Ash uh, since the very first Evil Dead film, really. Really, sir, I don't think I've ever, you know, having been mostly in the cities here, I don't think I've ever had one anywhere remotely close. And I've been here eight years. How you doing, Hero? Groovy, yeah. Thanks. Oh, hello, pretendous one. Hey. We're getting a few Custarian points before we try Sid again. Not too many. Just a quick warm-up. You know, you gotta warm up. Gotta get in the groove. Oh, you're close to the Iowa border? Yeah, that makes sense. As I said, when I was living in Iowa, we used to have frequent, uh, extremely nasty tornadoes. Uh, the power would go out. My entire, like, apartment complex would just hang out, have a beer. There'd be no power. So we'd just sit outside and watch the tornadoes. <laughs> so a little bit of, a little bit of Iowa for you right there. I'll say this though, the rent was incredibly good. I got to live in a palace there for a, a fraction of the price of what I pay now. So, go Iowa. I didn't like the farm so much, Saradak, but they, you know, some good home-cooked food out there. Real estate was really cheap. Sea Raider Gaming, how you doing? People were mostly friendly. They weren't like the uh, the Minnesota... The Minnesota passive-aggressive type. A grand a month? Pretentious one? I really wish I could find anything even close to that. Yeah, Ravana. Hey, we're uh, we're getting we're gearing up for that Sid fight again. We're not gonna let him do that to us. Yeah, you know what? Minnesota nice is thing. Listen, don't 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 get me wrong. I like living here. But Minnesota nice is not nice. Minnesotans are really... Until you're, like, friends with somebody, they don't want to have anything to do with you. Which, I think, you know, that, that's, that's a lot of places now, right? But, like, it's especially noticeable here.
It's just a Minnesota thing. Hey, Double Barrel, how you doing? Welcome on in. We're getting ready to face off with the great Sid again. Like I said, it's going to be an exciting week, Double Barrel. Keep your mind on the battle. Yeah, that's different, pretentious one. That's different. That The snow save is a thing, yes. Thanks. We do that. They don't want to talk to you after they save you from the snow, though. All right? Oh, what about it? that That's not what I'm talking about, though, Pratt. I don't... I mean, hey, be excited about that. But that's not what I'm talking about. No cover story. What do you mean? I wrote it. You can read it right now. I am excited about this week, yes. We're just getting started. Yeah, Sarah Deck, it's a, it's a weird thing. By the, by the way, I do like Minnesota. It's just a weird kind of... A Minnesota nice has always been puzzling to me. Evil Dead is the cover story. That is correct. Uh, Black Rain, yes, I have visited Nashville multiple times. Uh, I've enjoyed going to the Grand Ole Opry and the Country Music Hall and all that stuff down there. Including the famous, like, Nashville downtown experience. Boomstick. This is my boomstick. Yes. You understand I have mixed feelings in the series. Which series? Final Fantasy? Yeah, I do. What are we talking about? <clears throat> I mean, I've always liked Evil Dead. We've talked about Evil Dead here before. Any guy who's gone to horror conventions for the majority of his life is going to have some, some affinity for some Evil Dead content. Um... It's true that I don't like it as much as I like a lot of other horror stuff, but... I do understand its, uh, its place. You. Evil Dead is one of your favorite all-timers? Really? The original? The OG? Two. Okay, interesting. See, the thing about the Evil Dead movies is they're all very different from each other. Really? I mean, like, by the time they got to the third one, it was just straight-up comedy. Yeah, Ash vs. Evil Dead, by the way, I didn't like it all. Uh, I watched some for research for the cover story, and I was not feeling the vibes of that one. Um, I watched like two seasons, I think. I was like, nah. There was a 2010s remake. I have not seen the remake. There's actually another one coming out this year. I'm choosing commands, Loretta. It's hard to explain. I choose from a bucket of commands based on my paradigm shifts. That's how this game works. I'm telling my people what to do, but probably not in the way that you think. It is a very active combat system uh, that does require you to pay attention and actually respond fairly quickly. But I, I picked the bucket, essentially, that they're drawing upon from each character.
Hello, Dr. M. I have not seen the 2010s remake. I have watched some of Ash vs. Evil Dead. There's supposed to be another Evil Dead film coming out this year. I do love KFC buckets, Cherry. All right, we're gonna get one more, uh, one more, one or two more fights in here, and then we'll go try sit again. And we'll check out our paradigms just to make sure that they're all good first, too. Maybe I can add a new one. Sid is a, is a Sid is a bad guy in some of the games. Slow Rezzer. He is a bad guy in several of them. I'm sure there are mods here, Dr. Molly. You just have to ask. I think I saw Prime a minute ago. They are sometimes fictitious, but not really. Sid is a bad guy in this game, yes. And yes, KFC buckets are great. I don't know what Kim Possible has to do with any of this, but, uh, sure. I don't think, Dr. Mani, that you want a poll. I think you want a prediction, which is different. So you should be clear on that before it goes up. Anyway, welcome in, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Tuesday. We can win if we stay focused. You asked for it. I don't know if you can blame Malk. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Don't touch me. Oh, he saw me, dang it. Hello, Azal. Good evening. Thanks. Thank you. Our imaginary friend is here. Who's that? Cox not imaginary. Uh, Hazel, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it, as always. Hello, Ninja Killer. What's up? We always have the whole crew here tonight, pretend this one. Is Unpossible a real world? N no. And that's okay. Uh, Alright, I guess we should probably get that pole going because we're gonna fight Sid here pretty soon. Sorry, prediction. Yeah, we use whatever words we want. Language is cool like that, you know? We can make stuff up, it's fun. Today is my 111th birthday. We're getting ready to start new attempts. New sit attempts. Easy. Uh, 
But I do want people to be able to put a prediction up, so we're gonna wait. Do another route. I'll wait for some of the mods to wake up. We're gonna have a lot of Quistarium to put in by the time we get to the end of this. Right here in chat, Pratt. All you gotta do is ask. They read chat. That's what I think Dr. Mono wants. Yeah, I'm not predicting anything. People need to be clear with the mods, you know, what they're looking for. Otherwise, this happens. Big Boss, how you doing? How are you? Welcome on into a magical Tuesday evening. Thanks. No, Cthulhu, I don't have the points for that. Takes a huge amount of Kostarium. We're gonna try. We'll try it without it. And we'll see what happens. All right. We got. We got a bunch of Kostarium points up. So. I don't even have any. Like you know. Uh, not only will that cost an extraordinary amount of Kostarium. Uh, but like I don't even have the paradigm set up for that. Let's let's see what happens tonight. And thank you, uh, Cthulhu, for the tip. We will obviously upgrade our saboteurs eventually, but, like, our core Crystarium stuff... Like, we were just really low on Crystarium when we got here. I don't know why, but, like, it feels like we need a ton of XP. Let's see what happens. I do think, you know, saboteur rolls will be nice to have in the future. I just don't... I'm going to need a truckload of Crystarium to level that up at this point for these characters. And it's a good tip, one I certainly thought of. You know, obviously it helps to have different rolls. By the way, creator, hey, grats on your first run of Elden Ring. I hear it's a good game. Somebody told me it was pretty cool, You're, uh, but maybe we'll get around to playing it on stream one of these days, right? Yo, giant, you'll you'll beat giant pretend this one. Don't worry, just just whack at those. Uh, oh, look at that. We actually have a bit up. I wonder what it is. A lot of channel points up for grabs here. It looks like they put a really short timer on it, so get them in fast. Before you bet your hard-earned channel points, please know what happened last night. If you don't, don't waste your points. Because it looks like we're going to have big winners and big losers tonight. Uh, Cthulhu, I do know that the debuffs are really important, as are buffs. I just don't think we have the, the, the stuff to do it right now. We were absolutely annihilated by him last night, but we have a truckload of, seat of, of points we just farmed up, so... Uh, 
Uh, thank you, Pratable, for the Tier 1 gifted sub. For our newest Final Fantasy 13 fan in chat. Yeah, that... Whoever put up that prediction didn't put a whole lot of time on that. Um, but I bet they learned something about putting up polls for the future. I do, Cherry. I do. I mean, if we have to farm some more, we have to farm some more. That's life. Prime, that's okay. You don't have to be... I could have done the pull myself, alright? Maybe next time I will, but... I wouldn't worry about it. I don't even know... I don't even know what the prediction was at the end of the day. As you can see, we got a lot of XP, though. So even though we are not going to have the Saboteur roll ready, we're going to have big levels on some of our critical, our critical stuff. Uh, Prime, I have no idea. Okay, listen, I'm just trying to beat Sid, alright? I don't know what the hell Critter's talking about. Oh man, we almost have enough for D-Portega, which would probably help a lot. Well, we're gonna try it and see what happens. We also need to check out our paradigms, right? No, we haven't saved yet, Pratt. That doesn't matter, because you have retry in this game. So, that, that's not a top priority. Yet. What are my thoughts on string theory? Uh, I like string cheese. It'd be nice to have some some saboteur for sure. All right, how many tries do I get to do the thing by the by the the thing that was set up? Hey, bacon, what's up? Oh yeah, just Pratt, It's all easy mode, as you know. Wait, it's only one try? I didn't I didn't read the thing, but people know what the poll is. Wow, then I don't know why you bet on me. This is gonna take a few attempts. That was really silly of people. Did you see how much we got massacred yesterday? You think I'm gonna do it in one?
We didn't even get him below half yesterday. I don't know what... I mean, it's whatever Prime put in the thing. You can't change the prediction now. If it was one, it's one. Wow, 1%. I got 1% resist element. God, that's garbage. that nobody put all their chips on a single try encounter after what happened to us yesterday. But, uh, good luck, everybody. Rains? You gotta go by the wording of it, so there's no decision. Either you said one or not, or if it wasn't specified, it's only a single attempt. You can't change it. Like if you, s if it just says will he beat him, like that's a very va we don't usually do predictions like that. But um, once the thing's laid, you know you can't change it. I should crock, but if like that wasn't discussed, you know you got to be clear. So tired mods don't make predictions. All right. Oh my god, he killed- well, that's it. I hate this guy so much. Yep. 
That's it. Just like that. Yeah, you that will happen. Alright, let's go get some levels. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. It's a, it's a, I don't know why I'm having such trouble with the fight, but it's really challenging for me. Ginny girl would understand, pretend to swan. No, it is not like Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. I think it's the entire I think it's all your characters I think I don't know for sure you pro you'd probably know a lot better than me I was trying, that's exactly what I was trying to do, Ravana, and instead he just killed me, so. We are, you know, attempting to use the stagger frames to, to win, that's the, the strategy. Oh, well, definitely Malding, but no, he's not harder than Millennia, it's a different kind of difficulty, right? I mean... Not all difficulty is the same. Not all challenges are the same. Thank you. 
will not yield. My will is my own. My will is my strength. Let's go! Got your back. I must not falter. I don't I don't know what you're talking about, Super Nintendo. Absolutely not. This guy is complete, complete bullshit. Thank you. That is not the news either, Brian. You'll know when you see it. Can't launch him through his guard. This is such crap, dude. not be again crater it's it'll be probably a lot bigger than you think um i just you'll know when you see it
I mean, Prime, you don't need that anymore. You can just order the pizza online. There's really no draw to it from the, uh, that other way. Hey, Jay. Yeah, I do. I do. I absolutely do. It's okay. I think I got him this time. Stupid jerk. Finally got chain stunned. What an incredibly stupid fight. I like it how the, the, the strategy there was to just luck, luckily get the stagger at the right time. Like, that's... Oof. Anyway, he's dead. I don't know. Hey, you guys have to keep track of that, Pratt. The only thing I wanted was a moment of triumph. I'm just here to play the game. How it ends isn't important. Just do what you know is right. Uh, Super Nintendo, yeah. I played a lot of Don't Starve long, long time ago. I haven't played it in years, though. Used to play that with, like, the Minecraft Terraria crew. Absolutely not, Pretendous One. What? Did he complete his focus? I don't think so. Oh, Rain's dead. Just try to save Cocoon in his own way. His own way. Okay. Hey. Where are you? Snow! We got him, folks. Alright? I think Reigns was searching. Searching for a way to make us understand. To understand the frustration of being a Lassie. A Lassie bound to a focus. And maybe what it meant to be human. That's how we that's the only way we do things here, Jay. It doesn't matter, Apollo, it's whatever you like. Hey Blake, what up? I don't think I've ever been called the Pumpkin Man. I'm not really into pumpkin products. I do like jack o' lantern. And then there's that. No, I was really never into any kind of pumpkin stuff. I don't enjoy it. What can I say? Like I like pumpkins as an as an object, I just don't like eating them. As someone who has never enjoyed Final Fantasy, what would I recommend as a starting point to draw you in? That's that's a tough one. Uh, probably probably Seven Remake. That's the that's a very modern one. Although you probably won't understand half of it because. Really, there's so many hidden nods in there to people who have already played the original. Definitely not 15. Absolutely not Crystal Chronicles. Please don't listen to chat. Those are really, really bad suggestions. No offense, chat. I love you. No, you can wait on tactics till later this year. No, don't try to confuse them. He's a, they're, they genuinely want to play a good Final Fantasy XV, guys. Don't, don't do this. 
Because 15 is a really bad game. That's why. That has not been announced, Crater. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, yes, Superintendent, some people do. But I would not recommend that to somebody as their first Final Fantasy game. Yes, pretentious one, but he's not asking GI, he's asking me. And by extension, chat. The question is accurate. We do need to know what Blake's looking for in a game. In this game? Yeah. We did. Sort of. I'm not gonna... I don't know which one you should start with. I'd go with, like, some of the remasters, but I'm old school, so it's... It's a complicated question with a lot of nuance. in chat like 15. I do not. So that's not my answer. Thanks. Yes. You know what? Ironically enough, Dr. Mono's correct. I think my pick for the Final Fantasy that you should play uh, would be Dragon Quest 11. I know, people like different things, but I can only offer my best suggestion, okay? No, not 11. 11 you can't... Not 11. 11 is an MMO. Dragon Quest 11. I mean, if you don't have any problem with generations... Then I say go with Final Fantasy VI Remaster. Let's wrap this up. I would say if you want a Final Fantasy Dragon, uh, Final Fantasy VI, the remaster that just came out for sure, and you said you have a high tolerance for old school, so that that'll work for that. If you want something more modern but still very old school, ironically, I would say. Dragon Quest XI, which is not a Final Fantasy game. I would not recommend 9 at this time, even though I like 9 a lot. There is a reason behind that, but I'm not going to go into it.
Blake, that is what I would say, yes. If you like Final Fantasy VI, you might want to try V and four as well. They're both excellent. But they are, again, they're, they're 80s and 90s, you know, old schooler. Octopath. Octopath's really quite different than, than, than Final Fantasy. I do love Octopath a lot. Um, but it is... I don't know if it occupies the exact same space. Certainly much less story-driven. But I would also recommend Octopath Traveler, as long as we're just discussing old-school JRPGs. No, not Rayleigh Default. Rayleigh Default is a niche kind of experience. And I do like Bravely Default and what it offers. I would never recommend it unless I knew the character, unless I knew the player profile of the gamer completely. Which is why whenever I review one of those Bravely Default games, I'm very explicit in the review about what you have to like and not like. I mean, they want a Final Fantasy game. They don't want Bravely Default game. And also, again, I don't recommend Bravely Default across the board. I recommend it to a specific subset of RPG gamer. It is not the correct choice for a lot of folks. Well, Blake, Final that's that's a that's an impossibility right there because Final Fantasy itself has changed so much um, over the years that current modern iterations of the franchise are not recognizable from the older games. So you have people who like different things, who like different games in the franchise. There is no one all-encompassing. All Final Fantasies are like this. It just doesn't exist anymore. As I already said, Blake, I do not, I do not recommend under any circumstances Final Fantasy XV. But as you can see from chat, some people will definitely take take me to task for that. So everyone has their preferences. A lot of people today did start with seven. Take down the enemy. Follow my lead. But yeah, so Blake, the series has changed so drastically and and the current games are unrecognizable in, in almost every way from the old ones. So it's very different styles. You'll never find somebody who likes all of them. Let's go. The integrated version, you don't have to upgrade to that. And also, chat, chat says you shouldn't play with 7 Remake first, which... I agree with. I, I only picked that one because it is like a modern one that I don't intensely dislike. Um, and I know a lot of people when they ask that question, they want something more modern. If you're willing to play the older ones, then then yeah, those are definitely ones that I would recommend more. FF6 Remaster is currently only on mobile and PC. Right? I'm not going to recommend one of the, the MMO. I, 14 is a great game. 
But I am not going to recommend that one for the, the, the sell me on Final Fantasy. You will not need the integrated Blake unless you want to do the, the DLC content. Hello, Shrouded. We're trying to give Blake his first Final Fantasy game experience. Chat has very different ideas about this than I do, but you may as well jump into the fray. Unfortunately, because Final Fantasy is such a big thing, it's really tough to do this. I mean, I like the OG one, you know that pretentious one, but... And we played through it already. But it's a very simple game, and, and not what I would recommend for the first experience. He didn't necessarily want old school, but he is open to new school to, to old school, which is why I, I am kind of along those same lines. I'm in agreement there. Well, then four or six, like. The remasters. Uh, pretend this one I am not even going to answer that joke. Thank you. You want to know why what, Rock? I'm sorry, I'm trying to... Trying to keep up with chat, it's hard. People are very passionate about Final Fantasy games, who knew? Unfortunately, none of the none of the new remasters are available on console currently. I'm hoping that will change in the future. We don't know, Blake. We don't know. Uh, I predict that will change in the future. Because, seven yes, Pretendous one. Very good. Very good joke. Better be loot up here. Wait. Dang it. I 
I mean, yeah, you could just go play 14, and that's like playing all the games at once, sort of. God, that's a tough fight. That's true, Mike. That's true. And I certainly don't blame you for that. Now, listen, we got a lot of people in chat who like this game. Um, I think we can all agree, even the folks in chat who don't like FF13 and the folks who do, that this should not be his first one, okay? I think we can all agree on that. Five stars. I'm a five star man. This is not the secret to a long life. Ooh, three electrodes. That was worth it. That's right, Shroud, and don't you forget it. I mean, I honestly, if if he's looking to get a sense of, like, you know, what Final Fantasy is all about, honestly, I think four or six are really good starting points. Then again, we are going to be, you know, that that we do ignore all of the modern stuff then and, uh, for that, but they said they're open to that. So that's different, right? If they were like, I need a modern game, which I totally understand, that's a different situation. Yes, 10 does have J-pop. You're not wrong. Yes, Steam Deck with those games would probably rock. I'm not sure, though. I haven't tried them. But yeah, enjoy, and again, I guess one of the important things to know is this is not a series that is like... You look at Dragon Quest, right? Very iterative, but all the same core philosophies throughout all of the Dragon Quest games. More or less. Final Fantasy is not quite that way. Final Fantasy has changed a lot. Thanks, Fallen Saint. I appreciate that. So, one Final Fantasy can be very different from another Final Fantasy. And while Dragon Quests definitely range in, like, terms of quality, uh, they don't change nearly as much from game to game as a, as a Final Fantasy could, especially during once it got kind of whack after... I mean, 1 to 9 
things kind of stayed stable, but after that, man, it just went everywhere. So... I mean, it's not whatever you want it to be for Tennis One. Sounds delicious, Shredded. Blake, I am, uh... I used to be physical for a lot of things. I, I respect the physical a lot, but... Um... I went digital a while ago, and I haven't gone back. And I do realize that the, I'm gonna miss out on stuff because of that. Like, it sucks to not... The digital future is not one that is uh, all good, right? But I have kind of resigned myself to it. When I went all physical, when I went all digital on magic, I pretty much went all digital on everything else gaming as well. Which, you know, I like managing a physical collection, but, like, I just didn't have space for it, and... You know, I was really in a funk about my magic cards getting stolen, so... I was just like, screw it, I'm going all digital. Oh, yeah. Hey, collecting is always a thing, right? I do remember that for this one, yeah. I mean, yeah, that that is the PC. I think PC gamers, primary PC gamers, have actually been in a, in, a in a mostly digital ecosystem for a very long time. Mainly due to Steam. I mean, and to, and to a lesser extent, you know, Battle.net, we, we, were, we became very comfortable going all digital a, lo a long time ago. As it was the norm. I, no, not really, Blake. I mean, theoretically... You bought your last physical computer at, at CompUSA? I remember when I used to go shopping for for, uh, for games at CompUSA. Back when we had to pick our PC games based on the box. There was a time. I mean, Bethesda's going on to Steam now, completely. They're getting rid of the Bethesda launcher for Steam, I believe. I've requested us. There were many sweet computer boxes back in the day. And yes, we used to get CDs too, I know. Those were the days. Uh, Blake, that's true, and that is good. No, no, no new stream title. Take down the enemy. Thank you. I appreciate it.
bad box art, a lost treasure. Indeed. Follow my lead. Orange box. No, it didn't. Move on instinct. There were a lot of really cool boxes back in the day. What about it, Blake? I highly recommend it. I think it's great. You should, you should definitely play it. How is he opening Pandora's box? I don't get it. Best entry point for... I mean Elden Ring. Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. That one's easy. There's no longer any doubt there. You need to explain yourself. I, I don't know. Why don't you just try we are on playthrough six, but we have an obligation. We can't do anything until we finish Final Fantasy XIII. Around these parts, we call her Virginia, but all of them were deceived. One dog was bred in secret. One terrier to rule them all. And we call her Virginia. Oh, hi, Jenny. I'd like to place a carry out order. Oh, I'll have a turkey club and a diet slice to wash it all out. Jenny girl, come here for Christmas. We got you a brand new Kong. Christmas time is only once a year for Giddy Girl, sometimes known as Virginia, in certain company, if you know what I mean. Ginny, Ginny, put the kettle on. We've got company for Christmas. People really like that one for some reason. Uh, Ginny Girl, come here for Christmas. We got you in brain. I've got to rotate Kong. some of these out. And Christmas time is only once a year for Jitty Girl, sometimes known as Virginia. In certain company, if you know what I mean. Ginny. Ginny, put the kettle on. We've got company for Christmas. We'll, we'll be rotating some of those sounds out. Anyway, listen, I'm always up for another Elden Ring run. This was the community, uh, the community selected game, okay? I spent some time in the South Rock, I don't know if you know that. I spent some time in a lot of places. Special flavors like sriracha and bacon. They come infused so you can have a healthy snack with a bit 
Oh, a little enhancement. But, like, we have five runs on YouTube, and we're, we're definitely going to do more. Winter, what's up, yo? Otherwise, know that your mind is Do a butt stomp run. There's all kinds of runs. They're all fun. I know it doesn't mean it's 3 o'clock CST or 4 p.m. EST. Comes definitely up for Teddy. Uh, definitely, Monday, doesn't it? Closing bell. For whom does it toll today? Was it you? Was it me? Pratt, I, I figured, I was like, wait a minute, you can't play Closing Bell yet. But yeah, you definitely should play Elden Ring. I can say that for sure. I can also say this game is complete complete garbage sometimes. It's just like, oh hey, you die, cool. God 2018 or Horizon Zero Dawn. I have played both those games, so of those two, I'd say God 2018. Yeah, Winter, that is the next one on deck, but we have to, we have to... Do you understand what a community goal is? I think people really get jazzed about the community goals until they actually have to watch me play the game. This was a test and I passed? I get tested a lot, Blake. This stream is a test every night. Um, with people trying to get one over on the old D-ster, Donnie D. Yes, my memoirs will include a chapter on uh, my time down in uh, Tennessee, Alabama. It was a time of a lot of learning for me. I, that's where I also picked up my, uh, my bathrobe southern drawl, okay? I mean, Ginny Girl is a legend. Saradak, yeah, Elden Ring is like so good. So good. Yeah, I, I know you did. It was a close vote. It was a very close vote between 13 and 15. We might get 15 in the rotation again for this next vote we have coming up. We'll probably begin the vote this weekend. And you'll only be able to vote if you're on Discord. Because that's where I'm going to have Erlen post the vote, so... I guess we can put a link in chat here during the stream too, but... You'll have two to three days to vote, so don't worry about, like, you don't have to be Johnny on the spot with it. That terrifies me, pretentious one. Are you trying to scare me? Hey, Prime, we always appreciate the unit drops, yo. Thank you. Maybe we might, might, might actually win one tonight, you know what I'm saying? Winter, there was a poll tonight on stream whether I beat Sid or not, but no, I'm talking about a... We do the poll externally on a different website to tally the votes for the next Community Gold thing. You will have two to three days to do that. It'll probably get announced Friday. I'm going to go through the suggestions. I'll pick three or four of the different titles to fight it out, and people will vote. And then, I mean, it could still very well be Chrono Cross. But, it could also be Final Fantasy XV, and it could also be some of the other ones that people have selected. So, I'll have that all sorted by the weekend. And you'll have at least 48 hours to vote on that. It's not like a Twitch thing. We use, like, Survey Monkey or one of those dumb things. And yes, you still can add to it, Prime, yes. By all means, please do. 
I'm not going to allow every title that was selected to go on the list, but I will I will hand select four of the dirt the down and dirtiest ones. And that that's definitely a game I haven't played. Saradak, they love to choose something with 80 hours. No, the sub goal, the sub goal is different, Winter. We don't have something selected for the sub goal. If you have an idea, let me know. The sub goal is just up there so that people know we could get more subs to get more emote slots. We don't have anything for it right now. That's different than the than the stream than the uh, traditional game goal. Um, and I don't know what it is. We're generally not going to go for a game one on that because we already have a game one going. And Saradak, they always pick something with 80 hours of content. Always. Except for Metroid Dread. That was the only one that didn't have at least 80 hours. I appreciate it's a complicated one, Winter. You know, hey. I, I was told I can't play Kingdom Hearts 3 until I play Birth by Sleep. I'm pretty good at poker. But we're counting on... We do have a poker night that's, that used to happen around here. I don't know how many people in the current rotation remember it. But it did happen. It did happen. Hey, Prime, Leafeon is in charge of Poker Night. You want to take over for Leaf? You let him know. Let's go. He gained that title. He gets to keep that. We can't do that, Serdak. The, the whole... The, the stream goal is a... I mean, it's not an actual contract, but it is an agreement. People, people go into that pod so that they can watch me play one of their favorite games or, or a game that I don't, you know, whatever. But it is a, it's a, it's a deal. So I'm not going to be that guy who's like, no, I'm not going to do what I said we were going to do. You know, that's not cool. I mean, Poker Night was, was a really cool thing, yeah. Commercial watching day was really tough the first time. That's a, that's a lot harder one to set up than you think. I'm already going to get... Every, you already get a Marbles Day once a month. That's our birthday celebration day. So I've already added that to the normal roster. Um, Poker Night could be cool. Are we gonna have enough people to play? Last time we only had like four players. Everybody wants to watch, but not everybody wants to play. Looks like it's a dead end. And I like to get like a full table. How about down there? If the stories are right, it's a maze. This place is a boot camp for Lassie. All kinds of challenges from Grand Pulse are waiting. Challenges, huh? To get us all ready to go wipe out Cocoon? We can wait here if Turn and Seath sounds better. I mean, that's an idea, Winter. It's not one I'm completely I against, either. Enough of this! Where's the way out?! Poker's fun, Revenant. Way out? Who said there was Come on, one? exit... It's gotta be something we can do. Bring it on. My mind is made up. Besides, I'm really good at that Maybe game. I'd smoke everybody. Seat, but until that happens, I'm gonna make Sarah proud. I used to play that at the LAN, yo. I couldn't bring myself to admit that this tear meant goodbye. And that's why I kept searching for her. I mean, Exit, I was really good at that one. But I didn't need to. I knew where every spawn was. Sarah was here the whole time. 
right here, watching. Over. No, I don't pretend it's one. Now I get it. What this tear's been telling me is to not let our. I was spread. Apple, but that was a long time ago. Yes, K Dubs, we'll have a we're gonna have a day to celebrate all of our April birthdays at the end of the month. Focus doesn't matter. What matters to me is that we protect Cocoon. Whatever it takes. God, I wish I was 30. Same here. <laughs> kids. I'll help you do it. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, we sure did. Fallen Saint, we did a full playthrough of Resident Evil 8 on the stream. Mm -hmm. It's on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. Chocobo agrees. You know you're on the right path. There you go. <laughs> That's well, right. Count me out. What? Mm -hmm. If you all want to go it on your own. Shrouded, all of the April birthdays, including yours, so will be a community hey, celebration at the end of the month. Hey. Let Cocoon get what's coming. They hate us for being with C. What's it to me if they die? Better that than watch a friend go see. And uh, I like the ideas for the, the for the sub goal. Do it we gotta, we gotta figure it out. But the suggestions are great. <clears throat> Get stronger and smash cocoon out of the sky. Oh, I know, Shroud. You see it, and I've just added that to the regular you roster. Okay. And there's no coming back. There's I'm no goals for that. You just get it. Let it end that way. Exactly, Ravna. There is keto cheesecake, Dr. Mana. You can get it. Now it's Ryan time. Well, we got two different suggestions here, fam. We have the game suggestion, which is the the bit goal, and then we gotta have some other kind of suggestion, which is the. Uh, that thing's here to help us? The sub goal. Yeah. Now that can be anything. That's what I don't Community do. day has been recommended, but that could be, you know, hot sauce, cheese, and all that other fun stuff. I do want to get eventually. That stuff's got to go on a wheel. Um, but it's that's still happening. It's been very busy as of late. Why are you protecting me? What are you doing? Protecting one of our own. We can do without their brand of mercy. And we don't need a Falsy's orders either. I'm He's getting a marble event, Apple. We all are. <sighs> so please, fight with us. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't want this team. What the hell is this? Are they seriously going to put me in a fight with characters I haven't leveled up or equipped with anything? Oh my god, that is so dumb. I don't even mind the forest party, but let me at least... They probably have like... A hundred thousand points. <sighs> You know, Winter, that's not a bad idea. But I think that's a middle... I, again, I gotta... T I'm not gonna be able to get that done right away. That's a good goal. I like that. Like I said, there's a lot going on. It'll be evident... Soon.tm I do like that. That's kind of cool, though. Like, the we do wheel spins for, for a different... I kind of like that. We just make that, like, basically X subs as a wheel spin. Which is cool. I think we can figure out how to be even cooler with it, too. Exit, have a great night. Thanks for coming, as always. Alright, cool. Well, who's ready to do this fight with no abilities? 
Oh, and it has a Doom component too. You've got to be. Oh my God. Wow, that was a really good fight. So this is how it is. Oh, there's yes, Winter. Um, yes, those are several things that have been going on. Correct. That was actually ridiculous. I, like, I can't even. Are you at winter? Why is that? Well, we'll be looking at this screen for a while. Elden Wing, yes, the Elden Wing challenge does begin this Friday. Sponsored by Wingstop. I mean, Wingstop is nationwide, I'm pretty sure. I mean, come on, you know who's going to be on the sticks. It's not going to be me. That would not be a very interesting uh, challenge, now would it? Listen, I don't think I'm supposed to reveal that yet. Let's just say it'll be fun. And yeah, Wingstop is a national chain. Wings of Miyazaki? That would be... I don't think anybody's ever gotten to do that. Maybe Yoshi P. Would you? Would you, Prime? This would be. Yeah, well, I'm just... Shrouded, yes, we, gonna, we are going to have some wings. They're going to be very hot. I do know we're going to, you know, as part of this program, I think even uh, the, the people who do not typically like the hottest stuff are going to have to eat it. That's a pretty good present, K-Dubs. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna add some last dab to things uh, to make it interesting. By the way, wait, I don't have any paradigms. Oh my god, I, I hate this game. Cool. So this is how it ends. 
Big Boss, we can talk more about that later. Uh, I don't think we're at the point in our relationship where we're going to be offering codes. I think that could happen down the line. This would be... It's like, hey kids, do you like difficulty spikes? Do you like playing with characters you haven't played with in 20 hours? Then you'll love this battle. I mean, yeah, Winter still gave us that uh, that Apollo. That's some fun stuff there. I'm at, I'm literally guarding with two healers, and I'm still gonna die. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. What time is it? 21 months. That's what time it is. Good to see us. That's right, Rich. That's almost as cool as a 21-month 21, 21 anniversary with, with Ginny Girl. I like it how the summons in this game are just actually Transformers. Yeah, you know, Dr. Mono, I'm pro. You think we're going to make it to two years? Look. I mean, yeah, only three more months. I think we can make it. Maybe that thing did then, you get take, then you get into the VIP lounge at that point, to be Rich. To call it a sign of me being right. No? Okay. Listen. Keep our eyes on the goal and we'll figure something out. All right. At the two-year mark, you get a... Uh, Special pass to the uh, the so VIP I lounge. Being a Invite only. Mean you can't do what's right. Does it? A lot of Lassie hang out in there. Here's a shot of boy. Oh, I have to sit. Okay, okay, that's annoying. I had everything the way I wanted it. It looks great beyond the velvet rope. 
You're all VIPs here. I don't remember what I had here. Oh yeah, triple rev. Well, fresh butter, upside down six, upside down six, is obviously the, a legendary VIP, Dr. Ren. Yeah, well, maybe you should look harder, Pretendous One. Maybe you'll see it. Oh, hey, look at that. What? Oh. An airship? And it's from Grand Pulse. I guess it was one of this arc's weapons. We are gonna get there. It's gonna be great. That's a gate to Grand Pulse. You know, Schroeder, that's been that's been theorized before. Right. So what? That's our exit? Pulse? Or bust? Could be one of Dysley's traps. Well, that's not good. Do you think it might take us to Eden? Mm-mm. I'm doing the flying. No more of these ships taking charge of our travel plan stuff. The only place this thing has taken us is where these boys You know, pretend this one, that, that's really? actually been a theory. That is a Grand Pulse ship. Really? <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> We've heard that Bonk on the Head, Stuntman, and Fresh Butter are all very big names. Either way, we're on borrowed time. So might as well go. We get lucky. <laughs> Wait, what? Maybe we'll even turn up some way to get rid of these goofy tattoos. Are you doing a mic check? But there's no way to do that. You, you do have a choo-choo now, yes. Maybe we just didn't think to look for one. If nothing else, we know Cocoon's safe for the time being. I'd say it's worth going to take a look. Maybe. But what about your dad? Mike, check it up, Rich. I made him a promise. I promised him to keep going and do what I had to. He said only I would know what that was. The world's full of lies. Wait, There's how no do you know that prime way? Wait. All we can do is believe in ourselves. It's easy to sit back and let people trick you. Like how the Sanctum had us all thinking that a Lassie was some sort of monster. I'm done with their lies. Falsi, this whole focus thing. From here on out, I use my eyes. That's a great think, idea, Hope. And act. Wow. I might not make all the right choices. But as long as I'm the one who decided what to do, there's no nothing to regret. Rich. We're having a good time. <laughs> this reminds me of of our first Christmas with Ginny Girl. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. I'm with you. Bad choices and all. <laughs> of course, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Pulse is hell, you know. Oh, is it now? How many times have you been there? <laughs> None. But I want to go and see what it's like for myself. Okay, people. <laughs> so, everybody. No. Here? Okay, Absolutely. Prime. Off to hell we go. We're going to hell. Well, they're all very excited about this for some reason. You know, they used to sing this song. There were two songs, and they went with this track, which is a good one. But legends say that the other track they were almost going to use was uh, Christmas Time for Ginny Girl. You hated it? Wow, Prime. Wow. Wow. I like it how they keep going back to Disneyland. It is. I'm starting to tear up. Pretend this one. Mm. 
Whoa. You did it. Yeah, I told you, didn't I? <laughs> My PS3 is really getting hot playing this game. Playful little critter, isn't he? Yeah, we'll play with someone else. Yeah, you tell him lightning. It happens all the time. He thinks we're lunch. Yeah, like a seafood buffet. Seafood, cute. Guys, here it comes! I can't believe they made a Le seafood buffet joke. I'm Get going to... I'm, I'm going to be permanently damaged from that. What if we made cool cutscenes with like the Transformer summons and like flying? Yeah, you know, for this one, that's that's. They did make a Le seafood joke, yeah. Welcome to Grand Pulse. I mean, it's true. At least there was no QTE stuff in there. That that would be even worse. Severe thunderstorm warning. Uh-oh. Find shelter. Okay. A world wild and fragile. Vibrant and untamed. Grand Pulse. We made it to Grand Pulse, fam. It's a place There's a chocobo! ruled by the brutal struggle for survival. Oh, God. The callous and uncaring whim of the Tarsi. That is not cool. Somebody really just wanted to do that. There is no such thing as mercy. Only a never-ending string of trials that weed out the weak. Somebody, it's somebody there was like, we need to show like how cruel this place is by having a choco get eaten. Reigns knew the truth. The purpose lying at the heart of all the Falsies' actions. Oh, that's nice. That sounds tasty, pretend this one. Recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. People were never anything more than sacrifices. Welcome to Grand Falls. And Cocoon's destruction? You know this zone is really important because it has its own cutscene. But would bringing the Maker back into this world really lead to our salvation? Interesting, Azel, interesting. So, wait, is this the part where the people say the game gets good, or is this the part where the game doesn't get good? I think I've heard it both ways. The Maker created Falsi, and they, in their desperation to be reunited with the Maker, created Lassie. And Lassie? Uh, Deadpool, hey, I didn't say I that. What we'll end up creating. Other people have said that, okay? Man, what a bunch of jokers! I, uh, I have certainly never said that. My position has been maintained through the course of my life. But, I will say, Baby Chocobo was really cool. We should have had more of him.
Baby Chocobo is our newest VIP, this is true. But as long as we could keep our spirits up, we'd find a way to change our fate. We are now making our latest VIP, Baby Choco. You were having a dream. Say hello to our latest VIP. Fresh Butter Chocobo. Grand Pulse, we made it. Oh. Uh, hey. Back. hey guys, have any luck? No sign of anyone else. But we did find plenty of bloodthirsty wildlife and crumbling ruins. Long day? Well guys, mm -hmm. we've run out of places to search around here. Huh. Where's Hope? He's off with the chocobo, getting supplies. Hello. Wait, hey, the chocobo came back alone. You all by yourself. <laughs> this, this character right here, this character I can get. Trust me, Super Nintendo, you do not. He's Brent. What? We gotta find him. Wait, I need hope. Oh, for God's sakes! How, what, you know, how could you do this to me, game? Get him back soon. Spirit Halloween movie was there, no, there wasn't. Shut up. Really? A super a spirit Halloween movie like a documentary? Get out of here. Understand, like an actual movie or they made a horror movie from Spirit? What? God, that is stupid. <laughs> Wait, is that out? Or is it just announced? Wait, what? I gotta look this up. You guys are, you guys are, you guys are full of it. That is incredible. One of the most bizarre things I have ever heard. That was not it, though, Super Nintendo. Although you're right, I was not. I was surprised to hear this. I did, I, yeah, I gotta say, that was definitely a surprise twist. I just want to get Hope back. He's in my main team. I don't like it when you take my characters away. Doesn't feel good.
And some say the store is still there. It's true. Right. The Haunted Spirit Halloween. Uh, I, wow. I, I definitely did not see that coming. Oh boy, that's a big one. I call the big one bitey. Hey, you never know, Super Nintendo. You never know. You know, eventually every video game will have a movie, right? Well, any popular video game. I said popular, Dr. Mono. There is a new Dreadx coming out, though, soon. I think. So we'll have to play that when it comes out. I mean, I do think there will be an Elden Ring show. I hope they do it right. Like Elden Ring was the first, uh, the first one to transcend the barrier, right? Uh, I hear, I do hear that. I haven't seen, I haven't seen the Sonic films, but I am, uh, I'm going to try to do so. But you know, it, basically, you know, there's, there's such rarities, right? So this is how it ends. Just wait. Now, how long has it been since we left Cocoon? Hmm. Not a single soul for miles around. Not a single clue about this whole sea mess. What I'm saying is, we did well just getting this far. But we could go a little further. Hmm? Meaning? Mm, could, could be, pretend this one. Place. Could be. Oh. Are you sure? I'm sure. You know, if we don't find anything this time... We won't get another chance. I know, and I'm really upset about that because we really need hope. He was one of my Carol. core core users. The place it all began. Hope. We gotta go to to Yerba. Dreaming. The place it all began, of course. Vanille and Fang's home. Just maybe, it'll be the place where we find the answers we're looking for. Yeah, right. If we can get there. <laughs> Go ahead without me. We can't just leave. Oh, I don't have one, Doctor Mono. I'm trying not to you have one. Me so much. Azel, please have a Show great evening. Fight. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> what did I tell you? Leave the fight to me. I think that would be really cool, Koshi. I... I'm scared. It's hard to hard to get that going these days. We understand. You're not gonna go through this ordeal alone, you know. Um, I would like to do something like that, sure. Dig Dug the movie. I'm, I'm frankly, Metal, I'm surprised we don't have a Dig Dug the movie yet. Hope and Lightning Forever. No, Zack. Is actual canonical Dig Dug in Wreck It Ralph? I don't, I don't think so. Is he? Well, Koshi, I mean, what are, you, what are you gonna talk about? This boss is hard. That boss wasn't. Here's what I think happens in the lore. Here's what I don't think happens. 
I mean, yeah, that'd be kind of fun, I guess. I think it would be a fun discussion. Um, I wonder if I can make it happen. We'll see. We'll see a, l the l see. That's what scares me. I don't. I don't want to see you get hurt because of me. It'd be better for everyone if I just stayed behind. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get some la seafood. Mention ordeals, and look what comes along! This is not an ordeal. This is a gift. Hope! This is the kind of power you've got inside. Oh, it is. It's telling you not to give up. Trust me. Oh, I get it. It's here to show you the way. Show you that you've got what it takes to get back on your feet and do this thing. It's a giant so, gobot. That came from me. Hi, Great Rune. Welcome. That's true, Big Boss. Hi, Great Rune. Ready? It is. I have said that. Hey, I I have hope in my main party. This will be quick. Thanks for not letting me change my paradigms or anything. That was really fun. Face it head on. This isn't fair. It is, it is great rune, yeah. You have to beat the summons in order to get them in this game. I like it. Um, yeah, they're based. They're transformers as well. And I can't do anything with Hope because he's not in the team yet. That is. Oh god! I have to skip all this crap. But yes, the Eidolons are. Um, they're transformers and. They are linked to your individual peeps. Combat clinic would be good. Why do I need to have Fang in the party for this? I don't know. Super Nintendo, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan, but that doesn't. I, I'm still. We're still having fun. No, Fang is not bad, but I don't have her. She's not part of my team. She's actually pretty good, but I haven't worked her up. I haven't like optimized her. Crap. 
thanks. I don't. Dig Dug was not the name of John Wick's dog, as far as I know. Great rune, probably, yeah, but you know, difficulty is a subjective. Especially when it comes to Final Fantasy, like. I would say yes. Yes. There are many ways to, you know, give yourself an easier time in Final Fantasy games, including this one. Oh, I just got one shot. Uh, but looking at them, you know, in some in some kind of as close to objective capacity as we can, yes, I would say this is the hardest one. Nah, I would say that those are not. The, I mean, Zach, obviously, you're you're entitled to your your thoughts on this. I don't think the other ones really come close. But as always, like, there's lots of different things that you can do in order to give yourself an advantage. Obviously, levels are very valuable. Uh, that fight, obviously, is a toughie because we have to, we're on a timer. Great rune until it's done. We have to finish it. That's that's how stream goals work. When we're done, we're done. This one, I'm aware of that, but I but you're also aware of how stream goals work. There will be a vote this weekend for the next game, the next stream goal game. Hey, Cthulhu, I agree with you. This is the hardest FF. I played 12 as well. 12 is 12 is not really comparable. This isn't fair. I don't think. This one is very, very, you know, one mistake and you're down in this game, straight up. During any of the, the key battles. Or you have like, you know, 20 minute fights that require critical shifting and timing. 12 doesn't have any of that. Even on the even on like the optional bosses in 12, they don't have that. And I'm not complaining about the difficulty or anything. Tactics, tactics can soft lock you, but we don't, we do not, con we do not talk about tactics when we talk about Final Fantasy mainline games. Face it head on. Give it your best shot. Ha. Tactics obviously has some very famous soft lock scenarios where you can destroy your save file. And it does have some massive difficulty spikes. But I would say, in general, we do not compare tactics to these other games. And no, Kingdom Hearts is not a Final Fantasy game.
I don't know if that's entirely correct, Zach. There are, uh... Yes, you do have to think about things. But there is an element of brute force to it as well. In some ways, they're kind of similar to, like, MMO raids. But not in a good way. IMO. You got COVID, oh my god. Nah, 4 is not even... Kingdom Hearts 4? Can't wait. Too bad we're gonna have to wait a long time. Kingdom Hearts is going to be a long time. I have not great room. I would love to. I think that would be a cool stream goal. Some beast you tamed, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I we got him, chat. The Eidolans appeared to set us free through death. But now, I think maybe they're here to snap us out of our slumps. Oh, like the one you were just in? <laughs> I know, Ravenna. I'll ask for help earlier next time around. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to be a while. I don't even know why they announced it so early. I guess because they, they felt like they had to for the anniversary. Seems way too early to me. Listen, funny man, don't call this place hell, all right? So, we're all decided then. I mean, that's real early. Even for Nomura. Maybe nothing would change. And maybe we'd hit a dead end. But we were at least going to see where the road mm, would take You know, Super Nintendo, I mean, it's, we don't know the details in that, but I, I think that would be... The search for a home. I don't know about that. I don't think so. Past. Could be. You know, anything could be. Our final journey had just begun. There's all kinds of different reasons that we're not privy to about why things get announced when they do. But sometimes it's just because they want to at that point, you know? Let's go. Again, yeah, Super Nintendo, there's all kinds of different variables that, and Dr. Mono that we simply are not in the know of. So, you know, you can speculate all you want, but at the end of the day, we won't know. Kind of seat. It's in the last stage. A seat. Don't worry. It's no threat to anyone anymore. Great rune. You, I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities, yo. Become seat and wander the wilds. Eventually, they lose the world. It's a wild world out there. And turn to stone. But still, even in this state, they can't forget the task they once had. And they call out to the sea, over and over. Complete my focus. So they're doing yeah, but you can get even. Regret. The thing is, Great Rune, this is a very complicated topic because a lot of those companies. Uh, hey, we should help this one out. It's getting more complicated with remote work being Come in demand on, in the tech and ignore. gaming field. Listen, if we fail our focus, it could be us. And more traditional like companies want people in the office. Wow. So you can figure out what I'm saying here. 
That's not like you. But going out of his way to help someone, that's snow all over. So it's not an impossibility. It is only possible to... Okay, interesting. We got new mechanics. I have not been to Square HQ, Great Rune. Um, Square is not my primary beat area, Great. So... That was generally relegated to, you know... Uh, Kim and Joe, as they are our specialists in the JRPG realm. Obviously, I've I've worked with them, but I haven't been out to their HQ. A real Tonberry? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, right? The Tonberry's in charge of deadlines. I can I can see that, yeah. That's what they tell me. But this is where the game gets pretty wild. However, some people do not like this part of the game either, so it's, uh... As with many things about this game, they can be divisive. Does it tell me where it is? Oh, I guess it does it. Does it? Does it not put a marker on the map for me? Or does it? Mission mark. Okay, it does. I mean... Obviously, Super Nintendo had the longest reveal for a Final Fantasy game would be, what, 15, right? But that doesn't really count. Xenoblade 3 has a, has, a, has a date, Ravenna. We don't need to worry about that. We'll be playing Xenoblade this year. Yeah, so like 15, like if you want to count it... If you want to count it from the beginning, then it was like a bazillion years. But you can't, because it... It literally wasn't even the same thing for the majority of that entire development process. Now yeah, Melk's still here. We like Melk. He shows up sometimes. Who is Melk? Melk is a mod here. Also, the person who got me to play the Xenoblade, the, the Xenoblade games. Thank you. Huh. 
Wait. You know, Philly, I mean, let's be I would never have made it this far if I didn't have to play through it. But I'm glad we've been on this journey together. And now, together, we will hunt down the secrets of Grand Pulse. Hey, Final Fantasy XV will be an option uh, for the next one, for sure. No, I definitely wouldn't have liked it. Great, I've played that Great Rune. I do not like it. And besides, it'll get up in the running again. It's not a big deal. I'm a five star man for tennis one. No, I have not agreed to any kind of fedora or tank top. Those are different goals, those are auxiliary goals. Now, these missions are optional. But I bet the rewards are essential to, for survival. If you don't want to get your clock clean. For instance, we got a battle sash from that last one. I bet it's good, and that was the first mission. So, like, you know, easy mode. Kill gives a TP charge. Interesting. Cosplay is is a, a separate goal, yo. Kit Kitty ears are, are a possibility that needs to be discussed at a later date. No, I. Great rune, as you probably heard me talk about, I greatly dislike twelve. I think close combat is much worse than this. Full playthroughs on YouTube, Great Rune. They sure do, Great Rune. They sure do. They especially enjoy making me play games that they that I don't like. But that's fun for it's fun for the whole family. We have fun here. That's the important part. I don't see the mission marker. That's true. Hey, Koshi, that's right. Only the only the only the masterpieces. Welcome to Grand Pulse. Yeah, Goosebumps, see, you know what? I'd do Goosebumps as a stream goal. Because that would be a really horrible game, but at least it would be shorter than the 80-hour stuff that we usually do. Thanks. Change of plan. Yeah, welcome to the real game. That's right. The real game starts now. Thank you. Now it's riding time. That's right. Just another battle. Hey, we beat Sid. I don't want to hear it anymore.
But we finally made it to Grand Pulse. People said we wouldn't make it. You remember that? They said it couldn't be done. Those were the words they used. Keep the enemy off Man, what a bunch of jokers. But hey, Sid's done. We beat Barnacle Man, or whatever the heck his name was. That dude was easy mode. And here we are, you know? Finally on the plains of Grand Pulse. Which is delivering a hearty challenge. Change of plan. Yeah, Orphan awaits. Well, by the time we get to Orphan, we're being ready to mess him up, Raven. Don't worry. Just you wait till I work on my sphere grid, all right? Ginny Girl puts the kettle on. Pretend this one. I don't know if you know that. Especially when there's company over for Christmas. I don't know why I can't use that thing. You know, what I've noticed in this game is that maybe someday... Lightning might return. I really hope they bring her back. We'll have to see what happens. Arcolite Step Central Expanse. Where the freak is that? where I am. I guess we need to... Oh, there it is. Okay, sweet. Welcome to Grand Pulse. legendary place full of extreme danger but big rewards they talk about it Check this place out. in hushed whispers we will we will someday dr. M someday but now that we're in Grand Pulse you know we got to take it all in and we've only got a few more minutes so I mean, we're gonna do it. We did, we went from like 10 million hours of hallways to, to a semi-open zone. This is gonna be a really tough fight though. I, I get the feeling. Change of plan. Okay. They already killed somebody. Time for another approach. 
don't think we would have been able to handle this if we were ready for it. But we kind of weren't. Thanks. It's like a lot of front-loaded damage. Thank you. I think we may we may have stabilized. Big one bitey is a problem for sure, but we will be alone in a moment. We're fully buffed. Target's a target. <laughs> Hidden gem of the year so far? Oh, I don't know. I got to think about that. There's certainly a nice list of stuff that I'm really curious about, like Cult of the Lamb and stuff like that that are going to be on my radar to check out. And I'm sure there's actually probably been some... You know, I, I don't keep a list next to me all the time. I gotta start doing that. These questions get asked a lot. Right, yeah, let's... Wait. Do I complete the mission here? Oh, I wouldn't say nobody saves the world. I know people love that game. I didn't... I thought it was good. But I wouldn't say it's a hidden gem of the year. Hidden gem to me is like, you know, something really special. And I thought... I thought nobody saves the world was, was worth playing. But not like uh, a must-play epic moment. Gotta do it. You know what I mean? We gotta find a safe spot here, folks. I mean, when people say hidden gems, it can mean a lot of different things these days, Super Nintendo. It doesn't actually have to be actually hidden. I think generally that just means, like, you know, a more indie or off-the-grid title than a major AAA or even AA release. It all depends on how you want to define things, so it's, uh, you know, it's a moving target. All right, we made it to chapter 11. Tomorrow, the adventure continues. Oh, you know, Corekeeper has been on the uh, the radar. I don't... I think if I'm going to play Corekeeper, we'll just start a community server for Minecraft or Terraria and call it good. Uh, Dr. Mono, we're gonna raid... Ashley is a good target. I was gonna hit up... I already have... There's so many good raid targets tonight. Okay, Primes, I will see you later. Yes, Jerb, I mean, that will change, don't worry. You gotta get a little... F Trust me. Summons are nice, but they are... They do allow you to change, you know, to uh, to assist you, but they're not gonna... Just keep playing. Yeah, Cult of the Lamb is one that I'm really looking forward to. I think I have less interest in Stray than some of those other ones. But it is a cat, right, so... And yeah, there's a lot. I think this summer will be very interesting. All that E3 stuff is still going to happen without E3. So I think there'll even be a lot of quick turnaround kind of stuff. Well, Jerry, you got a long way to go. And also, we lost in the last stream of the night. 
What would be dope, Rich? Interesting indies? I'm sure we'll have plenty of those. In fact, that one that got revealed today, you know, the gameplay didn't really look amazing, but I do want to play it for myself to try to check it out. That myth myth thing? The one that looks like an 80s, 80s cartoon? Obviously, the art style really does it for me. Uh, the gameplay in the trailers didn't look too hot, but um, I want to play it for myself and see. All right. Until next time, chat. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you. You know, tell a friend or don't. Come hang out on Discord. We're doing a vote this weekend for the next stream uh, community game. So you'll want it to participate in that. There's no closing bell. Press not here. <laughs>